Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. I hope you are doing very well. Today's a really fun video. I have an event tomorrow, however, I'm filming this today. One, because we've got a June sale at White Fox, which we love. So I'm going to show you everything that I have from there, but I'm also going to be deciding what I'm wearing tomorrow night to my sister's birthday, which I will chat more about later when I'm doing my makeup, because in this video, I'm going to show you how I do my makeup for an event or like a night out. I'm also going to show you how I do my, well, I'm, I'm going to straighten my hair. I'm going to do something with my hair. So please ignore it right now. But I'm going to show you everything I do for a night out. I'm going to do my makeup the exact same, my hair the exact same. We're going to choose my outfit. And then tomorrow night, I'll take you along and do like a little mini vlog as well and show you like the event and everything that we're doing for Freya for her birthday, which I do chat more about in the video. But first, I have a bunch of stuff to show you from Whitebox. So they're having their dream sale at the moment. My discount code WFALEX will get you 30% off site-wide from the 18th until the 21st at 11.59 AEST. It'll be written in the video. But for a short amount of time, my code's going to be 30% off. So definitely make sure you use that if you like anything from the site or anything from this video. They have Afterpay available for AU, NZ, and USA customers. And they also have Express Worldwide shipping as well, which is just amazing. So without further ado, let's get started. This is from White Fox as well, by the way. I've been wearing these to death. I have it in red and in grey. And they're just like... I just love them. But we've got to get started. I need to decide what I'm wearing. And I'm filming this video today so I decide what I'm wearing because I always leave it until last minute. So I wanted to film this today, try everything on, and just have my outfit sorted. So that's what we're doing. But let's get started with all of the pieces that I have to show you. My floors? Really creaky. Hear that? So annoying. Oh, that's Freya's birthday present, by the way. She won't see this in time, but I got her a, um, it's a, I don't even know, an expensive comb. Which brand? Base Camp Beauty. Seventy dollars this cost me for a comb. Actually, it's a hairbrush, but that's her present. <laughs> Spare no expense. That's not even that much. I don't know why I'm complaining, but anyways, um, let's get started with what I'm currently wearing. Obviously, you've seen this cardigan before, but these jeans are my new favorite jeans ever. So they're like a flare pair of jeans. They are mid-rise. I love the color. I love the little pockets at the front too. Like how cute. A little bit different. Sorry, I think I was getting comfortable on my cardigan over in the corner. Can you see that? They are just so nice, so comfortable. They've got like a really good little like stretch to them as well. I love them. Hopefully you can see that. But they also come with a matching jacket, which I must get. I need the jacket. It was sold out when I was looking, but I'm definitely going to get that so I can wear it with these jeans. But I am in love. They're so comfy. And I love the flares at the bottom too. They're just like, you know, a pair of jeans, but different. But these are called the Kayla Midrise Flare Jeans in brown blue wash. And I got mine in a size extra small. Next, I picked up this really cool, like, pleather almost like suede but leather jacket in this taupey color i really wanted the matching skirt there's a matching like leather skirt that goes with it and i definitely want to get my hands on that because i think that would look so nice like this open with like a tank top underneath and then the skirt but i have the jacket for now and i didn't have like a nude shade of jacket i've got a lot of leather jackets but i don't have any like leather brown or nude shade jackets so i picked this one up this is called the Hold tight PU jacket and I got this in a size small slash medium. I haven't put any makeup on my chest yet so I'm looking a little bit pasty but I next picked up this. It's just like a black halter neck top. It's got a low back and I just thought it'd be really nice for like, I don't know, just like a nice black top to wear for like a dinner or something. So I got this. It's called the When I'm With You Halter Top. top. Oh my, do you know that's the second time I've said that? I've had to film this again because I said talk instead of top. When I'm With You Halter Top in a size extra small. I size down because I don't know if this is like FYI, but my, my boobs, they sit kind of far apart. So I like certain tops that make them sit closer together. So that's why I downsize in this to make them sit a little bit closer because when it's tighter, they're just more supported. I'm still, I'm not in love with this fit on my boobs. I feel like it just accentuates the gap in between, but that's why I downsized in hopes that it would like push them together. But yeah. Still a very nice top. It came in a bunch of other colors as well. I'm not enjoying my lip shade. I reckon I need darker lips for tomorrow night. I didn't go dark straight away because I wasn't sure what I was going to be wearing. And I still don't know, but I like a darker lip. Also, I realized in that clip just before I said FYI instead of TMI. This is the next top that I picked up. It's actually a bodysuit. It's like a taupe bodysuit with a ribbed fabric. It's such a nice, soft comfy fabric and that's exactly what I wanted just for days where you know I want to wear a nice top but just something basic to chuck on so I picked this up this is called the someone tell me bodysuit and I got mine in a size small 
and the bottoms go down to like here. I don't know if you can see. But this was like a pair of jeans, cute pair of sneaks. Good to go. I love it. It wouldn't be a White Fox haul without me choosing a bustier from White Fox. They have so many and they literally, they just nail them. There's so many styles. Anything you're looking for, they're going to have it. They have the best bustiers. So I saw this one. I thought it was a little bit different. It's a little bit out there, but I like it. I feel like I just needed like a black bustier. And I did actually already try this on. I didn't love it for some reason, but now that I'm trying it on again, I'm obsessed. So I don't know what went wrong the other day. I was definitely in like a panic choosing what I'm wearing because again, I leave everything to the last minute. But now that I've actually like popped it on, done it up right, I am obsessed. It's so flattering. It's really snatched around the waist. I actually downsized in this. I got it in a size extra small and I think I did that because I knew there was a buckle here and I could loosen it over the girls. So it just fits really, really nice. This is like a jacket over a pair of jeans. I'm obsessed. It's called the Marry the Night Bustier. And again, I got it in a size extra small. Now, obviously, I wouldn't wear a pair of leopard pants with a black bustier. I feel like that would be a little bit too much. But how cool are these? I've actually already worn them. I'm obsessed. They're just like a straight leg pair of jeans, but they're leopard print. Well, they're a mid-rise fit as well. And I just love them. These are like a neutral top. Or like, just like I wore them the first time with just like a plain baggy white top and a pair of sneakers. And they look so cool. So very happy to add like a pair of fun pants to my wardrobe. How nice are they? I think I like really downsized in these. I got these in an extra, extra small. And they are a little bit tight. I definitely could have gone for an extra small. Why I went two sizes down, I'm not too sure. I think I have these like the same fit in a different pair. And they're quite baggy. But depending on like the print of jeans will depend on how tight they actually are. So I think these might be like a tiny bit of a smaller fit. But they do fit and I'll still wear them. And I feel like jeans do loosen up just a fraction. So hopefully they do the more I wear them. But these are called the Stella Low Rise Wide Leg Jeans. In leopard. Next I picked up this top here. It's like a sheer long sleeve and I can tell this is one of my outfit options the other night because it still smells like perfume. So it must have been a solid option because I went as far as to put on perfume but I did choose something else that night. But yeah I got this because I just wanted like a cute like long sleeve and it's kind of sheer and I just thought it'd be nice for winter. Probably like a dinner out because it is sheer so you can see your bra a little bit underneath but I just thought it was really nice. So I got this. With these jeans it actually looks really cute too. I love it. Uh, oh, I don't have the tag for this. I don't know where the tag is. So I'll put the name in the video and everything will be linked down below as well. But yeah, I just, you know, I thought this was just like a nice basic to have in my wardrobe. So I picked this one up and then, oh, I'll show you this. I, oh my God. I wore this the other day. I kept the tag on, but I wore it out to go and get coffee. Actually, I didn't get coffee. I got Coke Zero <laughs> with Freya. And it was, oh, I'm just going to leave the tag on. It was so cozy and comfortable. This is my new favorite cardigan ever. It is so, oh, what have I done? That is annoying. But I'm obsessed. Cardigans in winter. I feel like last winter they weren't really like a thing. Or were they? I don't know. But I never got into it. But this year, I'm into it. Obviously not with this outfit. But it's so nice and cozy. It's like a really thick like braided knits and it's kind of grandma-esque but i'm so into it i love it this i think i got in size oh it's a one size it's just one size it's called the a little too much knit cardigan and i just wore it with like a white tank top and a pair of jeans and it was so cute and like a pair of sneakers love it oh i love this i haven't tried this on yet this is so nice i got like this taupe like turtleneck sweater Oh, this my floors ah they're so loud today it's annoying um this is so cute it came in like a charcoal gray as well but i went with the taupe because i don't have any taupe things and i thought i could wear it with these jeans i could wear it with the other jeans that i got as well and that would look really nice i love it it's so nice and comfy got this in a size small slash medium and it's called the frosty mornings knit sweater cute okay we're moving on to some options now for tomorrow night and this is definitely a strong contender this dress is very me i love like a long sleeve ribbed plain dress and it's in white i just thought it was so nice and this one i put like some tan cream on my legs like a bunch of oil nice pair of heels nice handbag maybe my hair like slicked back with like a big pair of earrings would look really cool and it's really comfortable as well it's like an easy dress to wear but it looks nice so it's definitely a strong contender like i love this it came in black and a couple other colors as well and i definitely want to get the black um but i got the white and i'm in love with it i just don't know if i want to dress up a little bit more for where we're going or just like 
because it's for a birthday, I can get away with it. So this is a very strong contender because it's just, I feel like it's fail proof. This will definitely be worn if not tomorrow night, another night very soon because it's just perfect. Perfect for winter too because it's long sleeved with like a pair of boots maybe. I don't know if I could do black boots though with a white dress. It might be a bit much but that's why I want the black one. Um, this is called the Turn the Lights Down Long Sleeve Mini Dress. I got mine in a size extra small and I don't know if you can see but it's like a really nice ribbed fabric. Like, look at that. Do I have makeup on it? No. Not yet. <laughs> um, yeah, love. Definitely a strong option. But we have more, so let's move on. This next dress doth not fit, but I wanted to show you anyway because it's so cute. Like it does, but I'm inches away from this rolling down and everything busting out. So unfortunately, this isn't a contender. And I also don't know what I'd wear over it jacket-wise because then it'd hide the really cute like bubble bottom. Bubble bottom? <laughs> I love this. I wish it was a little bigger around my boobs because it does have that sticky stuff, but it's rolling down because I'm really squeezing them in there but apart from that it's literally the cutest dress it came in other colors too but i got the black i was about to say white i think it came in red too i could be wrong but yeah i got the black oh it's so cute um i got it in a size extra small so i probably should have gone for a small and it is called the diamond dust mini dress i haven't even looked in the mirror yet but even just slipping this on my body oh it is so comfortable <gasps> Ooh, this is a contender. This is a strong contender. I love red at the moment. And this with like a jacket over, nice pair of heels, maybe my hair up, I don't know. Very strong contender. Wow, I love this. It's like a semi, semi sheer. I don't know if you can tell, hopefully you can't. But semi sheer, like this really nice like lined fabric, super stretchy and comfortable. And it's got ruching down the side and then at the back as well. Oh, yeah. This is really comfortable. One thing about me is when I'm going to events or anything, even though I want to look nice, I also really, really want to be comfortable. I don't want to be fidgeting with my outfit all night, and I feel like this is like the perfect dress. This with a jacket over, some nice gold jewelry. Yeah. Love this. I got it in a size extra small, and it's called the Don't Wait Up Mini Dress. Wow. Oh, I'm so glad this fits nicely. I'm really pleased. This is definitely a strong option. Okay, last option and then we're deciding. This next dress I actually got originally in a size extra small and I tried it on but because it's a, it's like a sheer dress and then underneath is a bodysuit, because I got an extra small, it was just way too high in places it shouldn't have been. So um, I actually got a size small sent out very kindly by White Fox because I knew I kind of wanted to wear this. I had this in my head and the small is perfect. Now it is out there. However, I plan to wear like an oversized blazer over the top. That'll pretty much hide most of it. So I've got a white fox like black blazer. I'm going to wear that and then a pair of nice heels and then like a lot of gloss on my legs. I love it. It's out there. It's different. But I think with the jacket, I'll put it on now. See what I mean? Like now you can't really see the dress. It's just like a cool, really fun dress underneath, but then we've got a blazer over the top. I feel like this is the one. I feel like it's gonna suit where we're going, and because I've got the blazer over the top, it's not too much, but then underneath, there's a bit going on. Or would the red dress look better underneath? I don't know. I feel like there will be final, final decisions made tomorrow, which you will see because I'm going to bring you along to Freya's like birthday surprise because I want to show you that. I want to like film her reaction and everything. So you definitely see what I do like end up wearing, but I'm feeling like it's going to be this. And then for heels, these ones, these are from White Fox as well because they've got like that gold. I feel like that'll look nice. And then with gold jewelry, they're really comfortable as well. Like they're the perfect going out shoe because they're not too high, but they look nice and dressy. So maybe with these. And I feel like that's me. I don't know. But I am going to leave you here. And we're going to go into doing my makeup. I'm going to show you how I did this makeup. Which has looked like hectic throughout this video. But keep in mind it is for like a night out. So obviously it is a little bit extra. But let's move on to that. I'll see you very bright and early in the morning. A couple hours ago when I literally just woke up. And then we'll meet back here. And we'll finalize everything. Good morning. It's currently 20 past 8. Now when I'm doing my makeup tomorrow. 
I'm not going to have just woken up 20 minutes ago. So I look very tired. Normally, or what I wanted to have this morning, but I realized I didn't have any left, were these eye patches. They're by Garnia. They're my literal lifesaver because I wake up so puffy. I get like these lines under my eyes and they're really annoying. So tomorrow, I'm definitely going to make sure to have them sitting on my face for like a good amount of time before I do my makeup because I find that really helps just... What I have put on my face is a little bit of flawless filter. I've got a mirror here, by the way, just in case you're wondering why I'm looking over there. I use this. This is in the shade 4.5. I'm normally a 5, so as you can see, it's a little bit orange. But I make it work because it just looks so nice under makeup. And it does just, like, give a nice tint complexion. And now I'm going to go in with my absolute favorite foundation. And if you're an OG or watch any of my makeup videos, you'll know what this is going to be. And this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. This is my Holy Grail Foundation. It lasts for so long. You can put it on nice and sheer, or you can put more on for full coverage. It's just the best. And now that I prefer not to have too much coverage, I don't know if you guys find this gross. I have washed my hands. I apply it with my hands, because I think it just goes on a little sheer. I find when I use my Beauty Blender, it does pack on a little bit more, and I don't like to look too full coverage these days. Like, obviously, I want to look like I'm wearing makeup, but I don't want it to be super heavy, so I just go in with my hands. I'm just going to get this on and then I'll tell you about what we're doing tomorrow night for Freya's birthday. I'm so excited. Drag it down my neck. I tan last night. I don't know if you can tell. How's my hand tan? Not my worst job. Wow, I look really orange. I promise I'm not in real life. Okay, next we're going to do under eye concealer. I've actually made this switch recently to the Tarte Ultra Creamy Concealer. Instead of the regular Tarte, we've gone to a creamy Tarte. So... I'm using the shade 12B Fair Beige, so this is really nice and light. I do like this. It applies a lot lighter, which is nice. Like, it's not as heavy under my eyes. And especially right now, I've been dealing with a lot of, like, puffiness. And I just don't like it to look too heavy and puffy under there. So, I find this is a little bit lighter, so I do like it. What I do when I'm going to an event and I want it to sit a little bit full of coverage under my eyes and just like blend out nice and be more opaque. I let it sit under my eye for a bit and like my face kind of warms up the product and I find it just goes a little bit full of coverage. I mean, for that, I could probably just use the other concealer that is more full coverage. I don't know. I just like to sit it under my eye. I just think it goes on nicely. Once that's warmed up underneath my eye, I'm going to blend that out with my Beauty Blender. Is anyone else getting really is it just me <laughs> or is everyone else getting really lazy in winter i'm really struggling to get up in the morning i used to be a 5 30 a.m girly now i'm like if it's before seven i'm like woo i keep wanting to sleep in this morning i woke up at 7 30 i let myself sleep this morning because i didn't have to get up and do anything like straight away 7 30 and i could have kept sleeping it's like my body follows the sun actually if it followed the sun then it'd be up at 6 30 but I don't know, I'm getting into a bad pattern, so I need to change those habits. I think the only way to fix that for me is to force myself up early and then force myself to bed earlier the night before. I put my phone down at like 9.30, absolute latest, but I just toss and turn until like 11 p.m. So I do want to fix that. It's been very annoying. I don't like waking up late. So now that that's blended in, I am going to set that in place. I have switched over to using a powder puff setting underneath my eyes, and it's changed my life. It's honestly the best thing. This is just from Mecca Max, and then the powder that I use is the... Huda Beauty Pound Cake. So this is like the little bit more of a yellow tone. And I blend all of my concealer up as well because I just find that lifts my face. So I go in and do my other eye and then I'll be back. Okay, so I did my other eye. I'm just leaving a little bit of the powder to bake in the little parts where I get really puffy because I'm trying to like, because there's a little shadow there, I try and brighten up that area just to make it not look like I'm puffy. I also do my brows as well. What I use is the Mecca Max pencil in the shade Fair. So I didn't film that because I thought that was really boring. I just put it through my brows and then later on I will set that in place. But now I'm going to move on to bronzer and I can talk about, because there's a few things I need to do, I'll talk about what we're actually doing tonight. But I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty bronzer. This is my favorite bronzer ever. I actually, because it's nearly finished, I went and bought Huda. No, not Huda. Hula. I don't like it. I think I'm really used to like an orangey bronzer. This was too muddy for me. It just looked ridiculous. I didn't like it at all. I'm just going to use it as shadow, I think, because I did try and return it, but apparently at Sephora now, they don't take back like they use returns or like exchanges. So I'm going to keep that, just use it as eyeshadow, and I'm definitely going to repurchase this because it's just my favorite. Or I do want to get onto a cream. I want all cream products. So if you've got any cream bronzer recommendations, definitely let me know. Because um, I'm open to trying something new. Because I don't really like repurchasing like bronzers and stuff. I feel like that's boring. Even though I like it. <laughs> um, but I'm just going in with a powder brush. And I'm going to put that on my forehead and my cheeks. And just kind of use it as like a contour. But it's also like a bronzer as well. I don't really contour. I just kind of put bronzer everywhere. <laughs> but 
well, I was about to say tonight, tomorrow night. So it's Freya's birthday, her actual birthday tomorrow. And what's been planned is Freya's boyfriend, Brad, has told her that he's taking her for lunch at SK, which is like a really nice restaurant on James Street. If you're from Brisbane, you'll probably, well, I need a brief. You'll probably be familiar with uh, SK and like James Street and stuff. It's just like a really nice street in Brisbane that I pretty much end up at every single weekend. But he's told her that he's booked a lunch for her, just him and Freya at two o'clock. Little does she know, all of her best best friends, including me, are gonna be there. So she's gonna think that she's going there with Brad, she's gonna arrive there, see some of us there, and be like, oh my God, what a nice surprise. But then we've also booked another place where a bunch of our friends are going to be. So it's like a double surprise and it's gonna be so much fun. So we get like a nice lunch and drinks at SK and then we're going to like another bar to meet all of our friends and then just have a really good night. And I'm so excited to see everyone. I feel like in adulthood, it's just really hard to get everyone together. So birthdays are the perfect time for like, you know, everyone making the time and making sure they're free and all getting together. And we haven't seen like our OG group in so long. We've got so many amazing friends. It's just gonna be like all of my favorite people and Freya's obviously in the same place. So I'm very, very excited for that to see everyone, to have a good night. I haven't gone to SK in so long either and they've got the best food. It's like a steak and oyster bar, but they've got like everything and it's just like, I've just put that bronzer on my cheekbones as you saw around my forehead around my jawline as well and then I'm actually gonna do a little bit of contouring with this as well so what I like to do with this is get like a smaller brush and I actually take it underneath my nose like this honestly couldn't really tell you why I think it's just where there's a natural shadow casted and then I also go above it because I find that makes me look nice and sun-kissed and then I take a little bit and kind of squeeze the brush and go down my nose I don't do this every day, but if I'm going to an event or like a night out, I'll definitely make sure to do this just like that. And then after that, I'm going to use a cream blush. This is the one I use. It's just the Mecca Cosmetica blush in the shade Rose. So I'm using a little fluffy synthetic brush and I'm just going to dip it in really lightly and put it on my cheeks. I love this blush. I rediscovered it because when I was working at in office one of the girls there her blush looked so good and i was like what are you wearing she told me she was wearing this and i was like i've got that so now i haven't stopped wearing it since because it's just so nice kind of smells like sunscreen but i like it <laughs> and then i put a little bit on my nose as well once that's blended out i actually set the blush in place with more blush and the blush i'll be using is the kylie blush i think this is in oh god i cannot see what this is called it's like a really light pink i love blush so much and on a night out or like an event you best believe i'm going to be layering it on because i just think it's so pretty put it over my nose as well and then that's pretty much the base of my makeup done i'll do highlight and stuff later but we're going to move on to eyes now so i might try and zoom in a little bit moving on to eyes now i am going to go in with the hula just as my base like shadow color so i'm going to take this through my crease everything i put on my eye i always keep to the outside of my eye as well i don't really drag it inward because i just find it like closes my eye off a little bit and I just like to make it look elongated so I stick to the outer part of my crease and even though I couldn't exchange this I'm not mad about the fact that I can use it as eyeshadow because it does blend out really nice I don't do a lot to my eyes I think because I do get eyelash extensions still I don't really need to go and do anything crazy I just kind of put a couple of colors in my crease a little pop of um, highlight on my inner corner and a wing of course and whether it's like a nighttime event or a daytime event I'll like either do a brown wing or a black oh, black wing this look is exactly pretty much it is exactly what I'm gonna do tomorrow because honestly I don't really as much as I want to I don't experiment much with makeup and like makeup looks on my face I feel like I know what I like now and that's what I do and I'll just play it up or down depending on what I'm doing now I'm going to take my MAC palette. This is the Connecting Color eyeshadow palette in the shade Future Flame. It's just like a really warm toned palette. I really love it. And I think I'm going to go in with this color up here just in my outer crease just to deepen it up a little bit because it is an event. We're going to darken her up on a normal day. Like if I was just doing something during the day and needed my makeup on, I'd probably just leave it at this and then do like a little brown wing. But we're going out. A police showed up on my doorstep yesterday. It's a 
very scary surprise. I opened the door. I thought it was a postman because he was barking. I was like, Ugh. so I locked Theo away, opened up the door, looking kind of like moody because I just get angry at Theo. And it was a policeman because something happened along our road, blood on the road. And he asked if I heard anything, but I wasn't home. So that's kind of terrifying. I was like, are we safe? He's like, yeah. So <laughs> I'll trust him, I guess. That was a pretty scary surprise. Hopefully everything's okay. Hopefully everyone's okay. I don't know what happened. I haven't seen anything on the news. But they were just going door to door asking if anyone heard anything around 6pm. But I wasn't home from work yet. So I wasn't here and I don't think anyone was. Because I asked everyone in the house if they heard anything. But no one was home. <sighs> Theo probably knows everything that happened. But he's not going to be able to tell them, is he? Oh, I'm still so puffy. It makes, me, oh, it makes me so annoyed. I hate having puffy eyes. Just going back in with my hula to blend that out just kind of drag it up and I am going to drag like a little bit here like kind of add it to my contour Theo's got a um training session tomorrow morning at 6 30 6 30 I've got to be at the cafe down the road to train Theo happy to do it because he's doing really really well but 6 30 I'm gonna be so tired by the time I get to lunch tomorrow but I did say I wanted to get into a better habit of waking up early on the day before having a night out or drinking probably not Probably not the best time. Now I am going to do my wing. And I'm going to go in with black tonight. It's actually not black. I'll show you what I use. I use this. I just use eyeshadow and like a really pointy like liner brush. And I'm going to... Oh, my makeup is battered. But I use this. So it's not actually black. It's like a kind of like purpley color. But it does look very dark. So I'm going to use that. And I just, again, do that on the outside of my eye. I never bring it in. I just do it on the outside and... Lick it up. I make my brush wet because I lick it. <laughs> Just being honest, it's what I do. So then I can like squeeze it and see how tiny it is. And I haven't been able to find this brush anywhere else. If I ever lose this, I don't know what I'll do. So I'm just gonna start on the out at Theo. No barking, thank you. On the outside of my eye. How do you guys get ready? I feel like whenever I'm getting ready for like a night out or an event, I'm always, or anything really, I'm always just watching YouTube. I don't listen to music, I just watch YouTube. And depending on what I'm doing will depend on what I'm watching. So like for a day like tomorrow, I'll probably be wanting to watch like a get ready with me style video. Someone doing their makeup for like a really long time, just having a chit chat. So if you're watching this while getting ready, let me know. But yeah, I've never been one to... I feel like if I listen to music while doing my makeup, it kind of stresses me out. I don't know why. I like to watch something. If it's like a get ready for a night out, that's even better. Or like an event. So I can really relate. I really enjoy that. So I've just like... I don't even know if you can see my big old lashes in the way. But I've just winged that out on the outside of my eye. And I'm just going to drag it up. Until I'm happy with how long the wing is. Now that I've done my wing, I'm going to put some shadow on my lower lash line. I'm just going in with the Hula Bronzer again and like a little flat like shader brush. And I'm just going to put that along my lash line. I always put something on my lash line, but depending on what I'm doing will depend on how dark I go. So today I'm going real crazy and going in with the bronzer. But I just put a little bit. Because again, I don't like to close my eyes off. I don't like to drag my eyes down. So I just find this, you know, adds something, but it's not going to be too heavy. What's your go-to drink on a night out? I feel like mine depends on the location. And I feel like SK is giving spicy margarita. I think that'll be my first drink. Then maybe an Aperol. I love Aperols. Now, I'm going to do highlight. So, for that, I wish... I had a cream product. I want everything cream. I don't know if you noticed, but I don't even set my face with powder anymore. I just leave it. I only set under my eyes and like around my nose with that um, Huda Beauty powder. But I'm going to do a bit of highlight now. This is the Charlotte Tilbury highlight in Champagne Glow. It's a really nice champagne color. Just looks like that. And I'm just using like a kind of fluffy smaller brush. And I'm going to pop that on my cheekbones. I actually really like when I'm getting ready for an event, I get ready a little bit earlier and if I've got the time, 
that's what I'll do because I like this like makeup to sit on my face for a little bit for my natural oils to come through for the makeup to kind of like soak in but if I don't have a chance to do that I'll just go in and set my face and I find that kind of like just adds in the moisture I guess and just makes everything sink into your face a bit more but tomorrow the lunch is at two so I'm probably gonna have time to like sit in my makeup for a little bit and then I'm just putting it down my nose as well and lip and then my chin as well. And then whenever I'm going on a night out, I don't know if my, because at this point in time, I don't know what I'm wearing. So I don't know if my clubs are going to be out, but I'll always put a bit of highlight on my clavicle. That word sounds so medical. Is there another word for this? Shoulder bones. <laughs> but I always put it there. And then if I've got my shoulders out, I put so much there and it looks so nice. Or if I've got like an oil, Love that on a night out. Now I'm going to blend that out. And what I do with this, I don't even know if it makes a difference. But I use, this is so old. This is like a shiny cooler. And I dip like a fluffy brush, just like a tiny bit. Tap it off. And I use that to like blend out the highlight. Again, I really don't know why. I don't know if it makes a difference. I just feel like, because I want to blend it out. I don't want it to be like a strip of highlight. And this is nice and shiny. And it adds like that warmth back. So I'm just going with a little bit of that. Now I'm going to set my brows. So to set my brows, I'm going to use this. This is the Huda Beauty Bomb Brows Full and Fluffy. I think it has like fibers in it. I don't know if there's much left, but I want my brows to look full and fluffy. So I use this and it just like obviously sets everything but then also adds little fibers and just makes it look nice and fluffy and then i'm gonna go back in with that highlight that i used on my face and take like a smaller synthetic brush and i'm gonna put a little bit on the inner corner of my eye this is another thing that depending on what i'm doing like day to day i do actually still like to put a little bit of highlight in the inner corner of my eye I just feel like it really brightens everything but for a night out i'll go in like a little bit more and i feel like i don't even know if it's still like on trend to do that with makeup but i just think it looks really pretty so i haven't moved on I'm glad I have nude nails as well because I needed nude nails for a photo shoot that I did this week and it worked out really well because I did have red and one of my dress options tonight is red, which I guess you could do both. You probably have red nails and a red dress, but I feel like it's safe to have a nude nail when you don't know what you're wearing. And then I'm just kind of dragging it up ever so slightly so it kind of blends into my lid. What else do I need to do? Lips. My current lip combo is the MAC Strip Down Lip Pencil. And then on the top, again, this is depending on what I'm doing and how dark I want my lips. But if I want them a little bit fairer, I use the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk in Fair. And then if I want it a little bit darker, I'll use the normal one. Or if I want it even darker, I have like a MAC darker one. But I don't know what I'm wearing yet. So I'm going to go with my go-to and then we'll switch it up depending on what I decide I'm wearing. And go in with the lippy. I find the fair is a little bit creamier than the non-fair version of this, which I like. And then normally before I head out, I'll put on a little bit of gloss as well. Cute. That's not too bad, right? Um, so that is my makeup done. At this point in time, I haven't tried any clothes on, so I don't know what I'm wearing. So I'm going to try on everything from White Fox, decide what I'm wearing, and then we'll come back and I am probably just going to put a straightener through my hair. I don't really, I'm really lazy when it comes to hair. I normally just put a straightener through it and then I'll like chuck it back behind my ears so it looks like I've done something, but I haven't. So that's what I'll probably do. Then we'll choose jewelry. I'm going to choose my scent of the night too. Um, but yeah, let's try on some clothes, which you would have already seen, but when you see me, I'll know what I'm wearing and we can finish off everything and I'll show you exactly what I'm going to look like tomorrow night. Okay. Hello. We meet again. I realized before I didn't tell you the name of this dress and it's called the too close mini dress and I'm obsessed. So yeah, I did end up going with a size small and I feel like it just fits so much nicer. I don't know if I showed you the back before either, but it's like very sheer. So basically all you see is the bodysuit underneath. It is very out there. But like I said, with the blazer, she's a little more modest. Sorry. I like this. 
I think we're going with this. So these heels, um, I was going to do a boot just for warmth, but I feel like that might be too much. This with a boot would just be a bit too hectic, I think. Even though I am showing all legs, I just think like a sheer dress with, I don't know, maybe I could do a boot. Should I try on a boot? I'll try on a boot. I also wish I could get your actual opinions, but this is going up after, so I could be making a bad decision and you guys could be screaming at me to wear the boots. But I'm thinking no. I'm thinking no boot, heel. I think that's the way to go. I think the boots are a bit much. So I'm going to go with the heel. Um, and then I need to choose my jewellery as well. I think I'm going to wear my... Oh, do I want my hair down or up? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Because I'm liking the up. I like my hair out of my face. But I think... Actually, no. I'm going to straighten it. But I'm going to wear it behind my ears and have it all back. So it'll be down, but it's not going to be in my face. So I'm going to straighten my hair. And then we'll come back and then choose my earrings and jewellery and whatnot. Very quickly done my hair how I will tomorrow. I've put a pin here now, but I think tomorrow I might bobby pin it back just so it sits really flush behind my ears and looks like nice and slick. So I think that's what I'm going to do with my hair. Another thing that I always do before I head out, now that I have this, or I'll use like another bronzer, I get a fluffy brush and I'll just do a bunch of bronzer on my chest. Also tonight before I go to sleep, I'm going to use a gradual tan because my legs be looking pasty. I did do tan last night, but it still develops throughout the day. So it will get darker, but I find if I do like a layer of tan and then the next night I do a layer of gradual, it just comes out really nice and dark. And then if I need to, I'll also add bronze shimmer on top, especially because my full legs will be out. I do want them to be like nice and tanned and even. So I'm just going to put bronzer on my chest. And then I also go in with whatever highlight I used on my face like I said in the video before, and do my clavicles. And also my chest and my boobs. Just to add like that nice sheen. Always do that. And now I need to choose what earrings I'm gonna wear. I don't wanna be too OTT. I've got these. They're like these little hoops. And because my hair's back, like, I don't want to go too dramatic with the earring because I've definitely got dramatic earrings, but oh, I've got some more going on. I don't think it's the moment for a dramatic earring. Although they are kind of fun, aren't they? Or I've got these. These are really cool too. These are all from Timu, by the way. These are kind of fun. Ooh. Are they too dramatic? I don't know. I think I want to do these because they're really cool. And then a ring, some gold jewelry. Maybe I could do this one. It's just like a big, oh, it won't fit on my fat finger right now. Just to tie it in. I think this is me. And then for perfume, I'm actually using currently, actually, let me show you my absolute favorite one that I need to get a new one of. And then I'll show you what I'm actually going to use tomorrow night. This is my favorite night out perfume or just like event per I keep saying night out, it's literally at 2 p.m. It's the lunch, but we will be going out until the night time, I'm assuming. Um, this is the Good Girl Perfume by Carolina Herrera. It is amazing. Such a nice, deep scent. I'm literally, I'm not gonna spray it now because I need to save. I don't even know if there's any left. I'm getting like a couple of spritzes, but I really need to get a new one. In replacement of that, until I get a new one, I've been using this. It's just a little sample. It's by Saint. It's the No Vacancy. And it's kind of similar, like a really nighttime. Almost, this one's almost like a manly scent, but I like it. I just think it's perfect for nighttime and it really like stays on as well. I think I sprayed this the other night because this is what my other top smelled like earlier. So I must've been spraying this, but I love this. So I'll probably use this or I'll try and spritz a little bit out of the Good Girl perfume as well. But I always bring like a little mini out as well so I can spritz myself throughout the night. But that's pretty much me. And then for my handbag, I use my Louis because it's gold and black and it fits so much in here. But what I'll do is take the straps off so I can just hold it. Oh! I actually love that my full outfit is sorted right now. Like I don't have to think about it tomorrow. I just know what I'm wearing. Just so you can get a visual of exactly what I'm going to look like walking into the venue tomorrow. I've got my little birthday present. Hopefully you can see the heels. And my legs are going to be tanner and nice and smooth and glossy. I actually, I don't even know what time I have to leave tomorrow. I know Freya's booking with 
just Brad is at 2 p.m. So I imagine I'm going to have to leave here maybe like an hour earlier or even earlier than that. I'm actually lying because she's going to see me getting ready. So she's going to know something's up and something's happening. So I'm going to pretend that I'm going to get a couple photos with a friend that I need to get for Instagram. So that's why I'm going to be getting ready early, heading out for a couple photos. Like she knows we're doing something. So she knows I'll be getting ready, but I don't want her to know that I'm going to the lunch. So I need to make up a lie about that so that's what i'm gonna do so that is me hopefully i've remembered to show you everything that i do you'll see the exact well it's gonna be the exact same as this tomorrow night. i'm really excited so i hope you've enjoyed this portion of the video once again my discount code for white fox which will get you 30 percent off is wf alex so make sure you use that everything that i showed you in the video is going to be linked down below as well but yes i'm going to go and I don't know, I'm just excited for tomorrow. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So I'll see you tomorrow. Hello, it's the next day. It's currently Saturday. It's currently Freya's birthday. I'm fully ready. Done my makeup, I've applied my gloss. I also decided to change my earrings because those other ones I think were a bit too much. So I went with the small earrings and then I'm not doing the big ring. I'm just doing like one little gold ring. I couldn't find any more, so that's all I'm doing. But I'll show you my outfits, even though you guys have seen it. I did put um, gradual tan last night on as well. And then I've also put some on shimmer on my legs. So they're looking a little bit more tanned. But this is the outfits. It's going to be like that. And then my handbag. And I'm not going to have the birthday bag because I already gave her her presents. So she's already opened that and she loved it. So this is the look lunch i'm so excited so basically what i'm gonna do now is i thought if i got an uber from here and left my car she's gonna know that something's up so i'm actually going to get in my car drive it around the corner leave it there overnight and then i'll get an uber from there out so she's gonna think that i've just taken my car somewhere to get photos because that's what she thinks i'm doing so i'm just gonna say that i'm doing that and i'll send her like a snapchat in my car being like have fun at lunch i might see you after if you're doing something and then she's gonna be like okay she's gone so I feel like that's going to be really good. I'm not going to bring this camera out. I'm just going to film a couple clips on my phone, but I will say goodbye to you here. I've edited this video. It's 40 minutes long. I'm so sorry, but I really hope you've enjoyed it. Once again, and I know I've said this only my third time now, my discount code is WFALEX for 30% off. So make sure you use that if you liked anything from this video that I showed you. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm so excited for tonight. And I'll definitely make sure I try and get like a couple clips so you can see the night and see Freya's surprise. But yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. We're about to surprise my sister for her birthday and I'm so excited. So she thinks she's going out for lunch with her boyfriend. Little does she know all of her best friends are going to be there. So I'm actually in my car right now because I told her that I'm going to get photos with a friend and that's why I was getting ready. But I've parked the car around the corner. I'm getting an Uber and we're going to the restaurant and I'm going to film my surprise. Maybe. I'm the first one here. So we're going to have a quick break and outfit check. It's from White Fox. I'm going to this down here. It's so dark in here. First ones to arrive. Hello. We are. Friends' birthday lunch. I didn't even know if she's left yet. Oh, the Avril's. I just received a text from Brad and they're on the way. <laughs> it's already filming. Okay.